Well, hello, fellow film fans, and thank you for visiting my YouTube channel, Tyler's Real Movie Talk. And in this video, we're going to talk about what Disney should do about that cameo in Solo, A Star Wars Story. And that goes without saying, if you have not seen Solo, A Star Wars Story yet, this video will contain spoilers. So definitely go to your local theater, go see the film, come back to this video, and then let us know your opinion on this as well. So you have been warned, that is the spoiler warning. And also, before I get into this video, I do gotta say, if you're a fan of movies, Movie talk movie reviews and really everything of that nature definitely consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell down below which will notify you anytime I have any new content coming out but with that out of the way let's dive right into this so we know the big cameo at the end of Solo a Star Wars story was the appearance of Darth Maul and he did have the mechanical slash robotic legs in that cameo so we know it takes place after the Phantom Menace when presumably everyone thinks he's dead so the question is, what should Disney and Lucasfilm do with this character? Did they just throw him in there for fan service and just to have him in there to show all these movies are connected somehow? Or do they actually have a plan with Darth Maul? And should they have a plan with Darth Maul? And if they do have a plan for Darth Maul, what should it consist of? Now, personally, I think... Darth Maul showing up in Solo was absolutely fantastic. It took the ending of that film, it skyrocketed it, in my opinion. I think it was absolutely great. It was glorious. I loved seeing Darth Maul in there. I know some people who didn't really care for it or didn't think it was that big of a deal. Personally, I love the Darth Maul character, so I was super excited to see him show up in that movie, mainly because I didn't expect it a single bit going into that movie. I did not expect a Darth Maul cameo, and I'm sure a lot of other people didn't as well. And the one thing about the cameo, which I'm sure Disney and Lucasfilm know just from the reactions, is it makes me want more of Darth Maul, especially with the technology that we have today. There are so many cool things you could do with this character that we didn't get to see in the prequels, so it definitely makes me want to see more of him. And I think one thing Disney could do, and this is what I think they really should do, but now I don't think they will do, but this is what they should do in my opinion. They should lump him in somehow to the Obi-Wan movie that they are developing right now. I think that would be great because we know if this takes place after The Phantom Menace, you know Darth Maul is going to want some sort of revenge on Obi-Wan, and I think it would be great to have Darth Maul kind of lumped into that story and kind of have him be the villain for Obi-Wan in that movie. And I definitely think if you have an Obi-Wan movie with Darth Maul as the villain, that movie, let me tell you right now, that movie is going to sell a hell of a lot of tickets. We're talking possibly maybe even a $200 million opening weekend because people would rush out to see that. And I think Disney's smart enough to where they didn't put Darth Maul in that movie for no particular reason, especially showing that it takes place after The Phantom Menace. I think they have a very specific plan for Darth Maul, and here is to hoping that it is to put him in the Obi-Wan movie, because like I said, it would be genius on their part, and it would be a huge, huge money maker. But like I said, I definitely doubt that would happen. But that's what I think about the cameo in Solo, A Star Wars Story, and that's what I think they should do about it. Definitely what you guys think they should do about that Darth Maul cameo. Do you guys think they should lump him into an Obi-Wan movie, or maybe lump him into another movie, maybe even his own solo movie, if that all possible? I want to hear all your opinions on this, and if you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up and share it around with all your friends. But with all that out of the way, thank you for watching.